Hello, my name is Bruce Sawalski. I am author of Canadian Wilderness Survival and chief instructor of the Boreal Wilderness Institute. And today, I want to review the Exotac Fire Sleeve. So, if you like to learn real survival knowledge, please support me by following me on YouTube and liking this video. So today I want to talk about this, the Exotac Fire Sleeve. So there it is in its box, and it's not a newer item, it's an item that's slightly changed. And let's talk about that. So the newest packaging, it comes with a Bic lighter. And there it is there. And so this is a waterproof sleeve made custom built except effectively for a Bic lighter. Now this lighter is or was a Bic safety lighter, meaning that right back in here, there was a small piece of aluminum that was designed so that this lighter couldn't sustain 20 seconds of steady flame, which is what we need for a proper fire, to, to be successful in lighting a proper fire out in the wilderness. So that's just a basic rule. 20 seconds of steady flame for the fire lighting source means we are going to light whatever we're lighting up and we're gonna get that fire, assuming we understand the basics of tinder and, and fire lighting aids and twig bundles, we're fine. Now, here, I've actually removed that metal piece. And I will pull out a, a, and, and, and link a video uh, to this very item uh, for um, lighters in terms of why I would do that. And it explains it and I pull it off and everything else. I've done that already for this one. Now this light exec, exec lighter cover or fire sleeve as it's technically called is also 100% waterproof. When we say 100% waterproof, it's past the 24 hour rule. And again, I will link to that. You can see the test. But essentially what I did is I take any time I wanna do it, the 24 hour rule, I put the item in, seal it up, drop it into water, leave it for 24 hours underwater, pull it back up, and when I pull it back up, boom, there's the flame. Now, because this is a non-safety lighter, I can flick it three or four times and I have no problem. And the reason is that little aluminum band is gone. So, does this work? Absolutely. Does it have any drawbacks? Well, let's talk about the drawbacks first. First and foremost, it doubles the weight of the lighter. So now it's twice the size. It does have the ability for me to put a toggle. I can tie it on or something. So that's all really good. I can put it in a pocket, whatever way I would like to do. That's all great. It has a toggle on both ends. So I can toggle this together in the way I showed you if you watch the video on... Um, uh, turning this uh, um, uh, lighter and stopping this from going off. If you don't have a sleeve, the sleeve that makes that ineffective. So I can do that. So this can be a, a lighting system that will work for you, right? No problem at all. It's replaceable. So when that big lighter runs out, I can do what? I can just chuck it away and get a new one. What's the one drawback with that? This is actually hard to pull out. I, I pulled them out before, but there it is, and I have to then, okay, it's full, and then put this back in, right? So that's a bit of a drawback, but not a huge one. I can't protect this from going off, but the cap does, so that's an irrelevant disadvantage. What's the advantage? This lighter system passes the 24-hour rule. Although it's heavier, bulk-wise, it's not really that much. So where do you want something like this? If you're on the East Coast or the West Coast of North America, if you're in any wet environment, lighters degenerate. This gives it a better chance of functioning. That's a big thing. Again, I've used one of these on the West Coast. It worked really well for me. I was very happy with its success. And it's a good survival item. Now, it's one of three fire items that I carry. I carry a lighter, whether this or in a different model of some or variety, I use that lighter all the time. I back it up with strike anywhere matches, unless I'm flying, in which case I'm taking safety matches, and those are in a waterproof container that again also passes the 24 hour rule. And then the third item is the backup for all of those, which is my striker, meaning what do I do? I use my lighter all the time. 
quick, fast. It'll freeze, it'll get cold, I just put it back in my pocket, I warm it back up, I put it back into the lowest layer I can and I heat it back up. No problem. It can be heated back up and used again. Second one is my matches, which I use when I don't want it, when the lighter doesn't work. And I back that up with a striker and the striker is always a high quality striker. And so that is uh, uh, one of the two sort of high end, either Finnish or Swedish strikers that I carry. And I've been playing with both. They're all very nice. I just did a review on the Kabliklik, um a, a striker, really good high quality striker, works really, really well. But functionally, is this worth the extra money? Absolutely. Especially if you're in an environment that's not dry, right? So if you're out in the prairies, you're across the Midwest, you're in the desert, you might go, I don't need that extra weight. If you're sitting in Vancouver Island or in Oregon, absolutely worth the weight. If you're canoeing, absolutely worth the weight and worth the cost. So this fire sleeve lighter, It'll cost you 10 ish dollars. The new ones come with a lighter, meaning you get the first big lighter free. Those lighters don't last forever. Pull it out every so often, like I showed you, test its weight, make sure it's there. And all you're doing is once that lighter starts to lighten up, I pull it out and I put a new one in and then I use that in other things. In my case, I throw it back into the classroom stuff and, you know, taking it out to the field for students to use, right? Where we're not under the same pressure. If I'm out in the field by myself, I don't take chances. I take good lighter that's actually gonna work. This fire sleeve in a wet environment is an utter lifesaver. It's worth the investment. So, if you like this useful life-saving knowledge that you learn on this channel, then please support me by following me on YouTube, listening and liking other videos on this channel, and by following me at the Boreal Wilderness Institute on Facebook. If you want to get a chance to use this lighter, in the um, spring of every year we run a, 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 a spring mountain survival course, so you can always get a chance to come out to the temperate rainforests of British Columbia and practice a little bit of survival knowledge. So thank you, stay safe, and if you're stranded in the wilderness, just remember, stop and survive.